Hi everyone. Oh, thanks so much for coming back to talk with me about art. It's me, your old pal, Adrian Lee, the wandering art historian. And I'm so glad that we're going to talk more about art today. Uh, we're in the midst of our web series, Art Snacks, um, where we're just going to take little bites, little delectable morsels of art historical goodness, and we're just going to savor them and ponder them. So what are we going to talk about today? Ooh, now I know, all of you know probably at this point how much I love Vincent van Gogh, but I wanted to talk about this particular painting for a reason, because did you know? that this painting in particular has some kind of creepy, dark undertones. Yeah, okay, so Vincent van Gogh, Starry Night, beautiful sunflowers, awesome, right? But then you get a painting like this and it makes you kind of record scratch. What's going on here? This painting is titled The Night Cafe, and he painted it in 1888 when he was living in Arles, okay? Here's the thing, the more you look at this painting, the more you think, mm, there's some things that aren't quite right. It was an actual place, a real live local hangout that was open literally all night. So it was an all night cafe. Now with that said, you never know who's gonna show up to an all night cafe. Am I right? Yeah. So let's look at this painting. First of all, bright red walls. Already that feels a little creepy to me, maybe? Uh, a little Stanley Kubrick-esque, if you will. Um, he's coupled that with pea green that you see here on the bar that you see in the billiard table and this weird green at the top of the uh, so the ceiling where the ceiling meets the the wall Ugh. um all of the people in the cafe right now don't look super happy to be there or they're passed out or they're sad or whatever and the light emanating from the lamps kind of comes out we see this a lot in vincent's work even in a painting like starry night um, where that light kind of emanates out and creates kind of a, a, a movement. Uh, so what's really going on here, right? Well, the best way to find out is to ask Vincent himself. And we can kind of do that in a way because he wrote hundreds, hundreds of letters to his brother, Teo, and his sister-in-law, Joe, saved like almost all of them. So thanks, Joe. And hey, Vincent, what's really going on here? So here are some quotes from Vincent. Let's see if they enlighten us. First, he says, quote, I have tried to portray with red and green this terrible human suffering. Uh -huh. And in this next quote, in my picture, the night cafe, I have tried to express the idea that the cafe is a place where one can ruin oneself, go mad, or commit a crime. Whew! Uh, thanks, Vincent, for enlightening us, indeed. Okay. Word, I'm just going to let you ponder that. Just ponder that. That's your art snack for the day. Thanks so much for joining me for this series. I'm going to keep coming up with all kinds of delicious morsels for you to savor. If you want more content and more art historical information and research, definitely check out my blog, The Wandering Art Historian at wordpress.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit like, tell me your thoughts, share it with your friends, and subscribe to The Wandering Art Historian YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this web series. My name is Adrienne Lee. You know me as the Wandering Art Historian. I will see you next time. Bye.